Hi, and welcome to how to build a monitoring application in less than 10 minutes. My name is Russ Savage, and I'm a product manager here at Influx Data. In this talk, we're going to walk through setting up and configuring a website monitoring solution using Influx DB Cloud. It's part presentation, part demo, part me fundling around the Zoom. So let's get started. Before we do, I'd like to talk a little bit about one of my favorite pastimes, watching movies. Now, I know we've all been watching a lot of movies lately. This image is from the movie Asphalt Jungle, which is really credited with kicking off the heist movie genre. Um, I love a good heist movie, even though the plots, they're insanely predictable. You kind of always know what's gonna happen. They usually start with a plan where the lead character runs through an incredibly detailed setup of what's going to happen. Then they all try to execute the plan, usually less than stellar results. But then finally, there's the big reveal where we find out what we thought was a failure was actually just part of a plan that we didn't hear about yet. Now, setting up this presentation with the same basic structure as a heist movie, although admittedly much less complicated than Mr. Ocean's. So let's see if we can pull it off. So without further ado, let's start with the plan. As I already mentioned, I wanted to monitor a bunch of websites. I wanna know if they're still responding and how long that takes. To do that, I'm gonna need two tools that come with the InfluxDB platform, a data collection agent known as Telegraph and my free forever cloud account with InfluxDB. I'm going to configure my data collection agent to take requests from the websites I wanna monitor, shape the data and write that into InfluxDB cloud. It sounds simple enough, so let's get to the execution. Now, for those of you unfamiliar with Telegraph, it's really an amazing open source tool built by our community. It's a configuration-based, plugin-driven data collection agent that can talk to almost anything. It's simple to configure, extremely flexible, and if you've got some custom application that you need to collect data from, you can extend Telegraph with a custom plugin, and that can be written in any language you want. It's really an incredible tool. I'm going to focus on the HTTP response input plugin for this task. This plugin, it'll make HTTP requests to any number of hosts you specify, record information uh, about the connection. Think status codes, how long the whole thing took, stuff like that. It's perfect for this demo. You can see on the screen that the Telegraph uses just simple text files for configuration. And that means it works anywhere with almost any configuration management tool chain, which is awesome. So that's kind of the input of this whole system. The output, I want it to go to my InfluxDB Cloud account. So you can configure outputs the same way you can configure uh, the inputs for Telegraph. And I can grab those credentials directly from my cloud account, and I'll show you how to do that later. So what does this actually look like? Well, here's the big reveal. This is the homepage for my Influx cloud account. You can set one up for free at influxdata.com without any sort of credit card. Influx cloud is much more exciting when you have some data in it. So let's start there. The low data section of the app has a ton of information on how to get data into your account. So in this case, I'm looking for HTTP response so I can filter down the list to find what I need. The app gives you details on how to configure Telegraph to collect those metrics, as well as an example configuration. Now that takes care of the input, but what about writing my data to my cloud account? On the Telegraph page, you can quickly see the output configuration you need to get data into your account. Finally, we can put all that information into a configuration, make any changes we want, and see the setup instructions for running Telegraph. So data is flowing in, but how do we know? Let's explore some of the metrics coming through from Telegraph. The Data Explorer tool is a simple way to quickly see the shape of your data. When I come here, the bucket is already selected. I click on the measurement I'm interested in, and then the field, in this case, response time, and I click Submit. I instantly see my time series data coming back as a line graph ready for analysis. Now I can already get some insights about what's happening here. This is response time and I see some spikes. So those might be something that I wanna dig into my site hosting provider or maybe my SRE team. At Influx Data, that's what we're talking about when we say time to awesome. With just a few clicks, I'm already able to get insights about what's happening in my system. And that's just the starting point. For those curious, this query is powered by the Flux language. It's a fully functional query language that allows for deeper insights and more powerful data analysis than ever before. To unlock that power, all you have to do is jump into our script editor. Here, you'll see the query that just ran through the UI, 
and you can continue to edit and customize as you see fit. If you need some help, you can browse through the full list of available functions and insert examples right into the code. This tool gives you access to the hundreds of Flux functions out there. More are being added every single week. When you want to save the query you've built, you can send it to a dashboard or create a background processing task so you can run it on whatever schedule you need. These tasks, they're great for downsampling data at regular intervals or pre-calculating metrics that you might need. Now, I've already created a dashboard to help track my HTTP data, so I can jump over to the dashboarding area of the app and take a look. And there we have it, a simple website monitoring tool built with the InfluxDB cloud platform. Just to recap, so we were able to quickly ingest data via our powerful data collection agent, Telegraph. We explored that data with just a few clicks to discover trends. We built a dashboard for continuous observability of that web monitoring data. But I've only scratched the surface here. There's so much more that we want you to try out. As I mentioned before, you can run queries as background tasks for data enrichment. You can build complex alerting functionality, connect it to your favorite tools like Slack and PagerDuty. And better yet, all of these capabilities are available via a common API that allows you to build custom applications and scale globally with less code and more power. That's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching and get started for free today at influxdata.com.